G'day and welcome to Let's Try A Valley Without Wind. Uh, this was surprisingly weird to get working because it turns out um, it really it tries to support 16 by 9 but um, it doesn't do it very well. So let's uh, take a look at this game and its introduction. It's the year 888, reality has been shattered, wind blasted snowfields have covered the world of Environ for centuries. Citizens in this ice age reliant on their magic driven technology now find the world an alien place that seeks to devour them. Only glyph bearers chosen by the enigmatic Ilari are able to venture forth into the windswept hills. They discover shards of time and space have slammed haphazardly together. Industrialized cities from the 5th century lie in just abandoned ruin. Crime next to Bronze Age towns in the first century of the ancient era, in the shadow of robotic enclaves from a time after people. Most people from every time period were shredded by the universe's collapse, but some live on despite scouring windstorms and encroaching monsters. These people are as lost and alone as survivors from the Ice Age. Glip era life expectancy not being particularly high, the survivors must work together if they wish to stay alive. Overlords subjugate entire continents, lieutenants at their side, strangely selective volcanic fissures erupt under buildings, monsters roam freely, and the whispering wind drives wanderers mad. The Glipperers are tasked with somehow rebuilding civilization amidst it all. They'll need to find resources, learn new spells, and scavenge technology. The broken world is irreparable, but so some may build what all dream of, a valley without wind. Okay, neat. And this has multiplayer, which I wasn't expecting. Um, and yeah, the settings are kind of weird. Uh, the key one for me was I had to do this. I had to do this. If if you saw what it was like otherwise, well, uh, let's just say I was somewhat worried about the those with epilepsy. Uh, let's see, create world. Um, we will call it that. We will do everything at default and keyboard and mouse. Don't get to attack your character, they're gonna die. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go with China Haslip. They seem pretty neat, and they got that uh, right. Um, I just played Heat Signature, so caps lock being my slow mo button there, it was on. Okay. So you can change the difficulty. Right, yep. This is a procedurally generated platformer. How are we doing? All right, so we do have air control. Can't really go up here because we can't grab onto the edges. Dark remains dark even when you enter it. Okay, that's fire touch. Sure. Uh, left click does fire touch which does damage fairly weak touch range spell okay so we can destroy trees good to know don't worry you're safe while reading this you walk by a gravestone so you can see read that epitaph to see what they died from didn't even take time to check health status or what spell gems that equipped all i had to do is hover over the bottom left corner Okay. Alright, cool. So this tells us these things. And yep, and mana, and health, and fire touch. And if I look at my inventory, I got nothing. Okay, so. I can destroy a bunch of things. Yep, we got that. Okay. New map? I mean, and we, if we go back, yep, it is in fact back. And um, we can't get up. Okay, cool. Can't get things from here? Nope. Alright, there we go. This is our map. It's not a big dungeon. Okay, crushed under a pile of crates while trying to harvest some granite. If only had remembered his fire touch spell gem. Uh, forgot to eat while harvesting ingredients. Didn't look at that by pushing C. Okay. Only need so many rocks after all. Yep. Uh, 
Okay, cool. So we can and will just do that. Okay. And we got that. A deploy item. I am kind of enjoying burning trees, yes. Okay. Pop over here. Yep, wooden platforms. So that is what this is to. Uh huh. Uh, nope. Right click. Ah, shit. Space bar to jump. You jump quite far. There we go. Acid water as well. Ah, you can see there's actually like a secret down there too. Okay, I'm gonna stop burning trees for no reason. Ah, right, of course. So we can place wooden platforms like so. And wander through here. Press E to enter Ice Age micro apartments. Don't worry, abandoned buildings like this are all over the place. They usually have at least one stash room. Stashes are yellow on your dungeon map. Uh, and red dots are passages you haven't entered yet. Cool. So, hey, a light enchant. These are passive buffs. Uh, X to equip your new enchant. Okay. Corpses should be buried at night, at least 20 meters from the building. Okay. Eat a hide in destroyed room. Let's check out living rooms. Okay. I will take your things. Hey, we got another enchant. Can only be equipped or unequipped in settlements. Okay, right, cool. You can take things in these stash rooms without. Yep, sure. All seems pretty good. Uh, right, and so yellow also indicates that we haven't been there yet. Gotcha. A warp gate and another enchant. Right. Gates let us go to places we've already visited. Alright, I see. So this basically lets us go backward. Okay, this isn't something I can use, then... Right. Uh, so, how do I get back up? Okay, cool. That let us get back. That was weird and unhelpful. Okay, it's dark in here if you've got a light enchant. You can... Don't forget to equip it. These are not light enchants. Okay, right, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's try checking downstairs. Ah! I'll take your things. And hey, ventilation system. Okay. Uh, in apartment number three. This was bedroom six and seven, right? Six, seven, yes. And this is a living room two. Notes scavenging losers, yep, okay. You can tell if things didn't make it through intact. Yeah, fine. Don't really see what I can do there. I saw the epitaph, but 
I haven't been able to get to the place. Oh wait, this said... Uh, never recovered from this. Taking on the slime with fire touch was no accident. Uh-huh. Right, one, two, three, and also left, right, middle. Red slime is a menace. That, I assume, is your red slime. Ah! You're right, it certainly is a menace. Uh, that hurt a lot. Uh, if I do that, does that do anything? Nope. Okay, it's got elemental resistance. What do you actually do? Burst of speed, burning up mana, take twice as much damage. Don't use this, basically. Um, in which case, do I have anything that's useful? Does not look like it. So I guess I need to either go around or do something else. Ah! Okay. Let's see. If I go back this way... Whoop. Seriously? Mm. Wee. Alright. Let's see. So go over here. And there's a couple of things that we can do here. One is we could place platforms with right click up here. Maybe one day I will learn the jump distance for said character. And then here we go, a warp gate. Okay, backtrack on foot, etc, etc. Um, how? I don't understand this, mostly because... This all leads to the one area that I don't seem to be able to use. Okay. After you've entered a gate, you'll see a region map in the lower right corner of the screen. Um, click the dungeon you want to warp into. Aha. Uh -huh. Warp to bedroom. Aha. 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 Neat. Right. So then I can do this, surface, warp to surface area. Okay, so this is interesting, like, um, I'm about at the end of like this tutorial area, I think. Not entirely clear on what I should be doing exactly right now, but you can also see that there's a bunch of things that you can find and do and is yeah kind of cool to have this ability to explore and do things like there's a lot of actual like the game is very happy to teach you how to oh you're kidding me that's quite bad no 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 seriously Okay, that's not so good. At some point, I'm going to need to learn how you heal. But it's a relatively intriguing setting. Uh, this whole kind of rifts, uh, calamity happens that kind of makes the world combine together. Yeah, so it's just like yep, red slime, red slime, red slime. Don't fight the red slime. Hey, seriously, the red slime is... Not your friend. Really? Fine. Is there a way for me to pick it up? Not exactly. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, okay. So I'm not really going to be able to get anywhere. Oh, you also take fallen damage. Perfect. So yeah, we can't really fight the red slime without finding something else to fight with. Hmm. So, I guess we... Yeah, yeah, I know I'm safe doing that. Uh, 
Um, Alright, so that tells me there's a bunch of places. But it doesn't really help me get out. In or out. Hmm. So I can't get through to there. I'm wondering if that's really where we're meant to get things, though. This gives us more platforms, that's fine. Ventilation system. I mean, let's see if there's something else that I'm missing in one of these other rooms. Uh, right, something in the dark room. But we've got this, uh... Yeah. No, can't get oh, into there, so there's nothing really much to do there. Yeah, yeah. And then this lets us get back out in a nice, quick, easy way, but... Okay, so I'm kind of stuck. Bedroom 10 has a special stash, which we can't get to. Bedroom 6 has a special stash. Um... Yeah, we don't know how to get... There's something about a ventilation system, but I haven't seen anything that we can get into, which is somewhat unhelpful. So I am, like, getting the sense that I'm towards the end of a tutorial, but also feeling very much stuck. So I can easily get back out to the... Warp to bedroom. Wait, wait. Does this mean I can warp to, like, bedroom six? No. Because it has no gate. Well, then why... Why do that? Warp to surface area. And it'll take us straight to the gate. Yep. Which is what I expected. Okay. Fall damage. Bad. Gotcha. Things I should do. Vital supplies I'm short on. Transport scroll would create wooden platforms. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Continent status tells us information there. Um, where to find things you want. Supplies. Right. All of these are relevant. But also relatively uh, useless. Okay. Like, I'm just gonna do this now. There we go. I'd rather not worry about that. Oh, look, it gets dark. What happens when it's dark? Can I do any sort of crafting? Your character. Usable inventory. Your character, planning, settings, crafting stockpile. They can be found in these things. They can, yep, that's fine. None of these are particularly useful as far as I can see. We've got, yeah, so I feel like there'll be something I can, wait, why? Okay, why am I not able to move now? Oh, right, local chunk is currently paused. Gotcha. So, I mean, I guess I can destroy these things, but that doesn't really get me anything other than the destruction of things. Maybe if I go in the apartments again? I keep going in here because I keep expecting to be able to do things. But right now what I'm getting mostly is I can destroy stuff. I guess I'll go through and destroy things. And maybe that will get me something I can use. But uh, yeah, this is... Didn't realize you could get down through wooden platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did figure that one out. Thanks, mate. If you come to destroyed rooms, you're wasting your time anyway. Use your map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.
Okay. Go through to bedroom four. Burn down the donut chair. There's nothing else in here that's like hidden. Doesn't look it. Alright. So this is a game that had a pretty promising start and then I feel like I'm a bit stuck and then what is the freaking point, right? We go here. Right, I can destroy all of the surrounding terrain. Woo! But what's the point of that, right? Yeah, and then there's like it's that red slime. What am I meant to do about the red slime? I haven't got anything with what I can attack. That gave us this, which let me lets me run. Maybe I can try running past the red slime. Um. Okay, protected by new glyph. Found a bunch of these things. No, that's that's kind of irrelevant. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to use the running thing. I'm just not clear on how or where or when apartment number three collapsed I had a way to get up into the ventilation system and then we got these platforms so up into the ventilation system But this is kind of stuck here, right? So it's not like I it's not like I can just place a wooden platform, or can I? If I do this. No, because pressing down doesn't make me crash, it makes me jump down. So if I middle click right now, like you can see that I'm kind of standing on there, but it doesn't let me in because I just go straight through the platform. So you can definitely place things. It's just I don't see this ventilation system of which you speak unless it's this. Wait, is it this? It is. Aha. Uh -huh. Survived by his loving sister. Aha. Uh -huh. A long range spell. Okay. So we do this here. And then this it can go there. And then this is. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, so if I do this. Nice. So that was what I was missing. I just didn't see that. Okay. Uh -huh. And then we just, yeah, do that. Right. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now I can deal with that red slime and now I can make progress. All right. I take back any weirdness that I talked about before. So that's far enough away that I can basically just stand here and kill it. Also, you know, it's not red. Ooh. Yeah, innocence lost. I guess that's because we killed some. And here is a warp gate. Uh, bicycle leap. Yeah, like, hey, look, here are a bunch of weird enemies that you have a long range attack for consciousness shards what do they do oh crap this is uh all right and then what we do is we want to Okay, great. So for, yeah, pressing the button and four works. I just want to make sure I got this warp gate. And then I can warp back. Surface area with caves. Nice. And then four. What did these do? A guardian stone. Okay, they have money. 
That's what I'm hearing from this. And then four. Hey. Okay, this is an Alari stone. They do these things. Your stupidity is only outweighed by your insignificance. They heal you. So, you know, they're worth dealing with, I feel. Okay, yep, there's this. Alright, so we had a doorway in the bottom left. Passage to lower dungeon. Ooh, ooh, neat. I assume we're going to have more enemies with ranged attacks at some point. Also, we have effectively unlimited ammo. So... There was a message. Uh, all he had was fire touch. It seemed safe to harvest gems and minerals. Poor guy was probably just trying to... St Dock up a way to learn a new spell. One day I'll learn how to time the attack here. Okay, come on. I mean, it's good that these things basically do not give a crap about me. Ah. To underground caverns number four. Acid water. Why all the acid water everywhere? Eh? Alright. So this is a way of me getting materials, right? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I love the old street lamp kind of thing here. Okay, we grab that and then let's try going to underground caverns number four. Ooh, you look like you're actually dangerous. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, again. Oh, shit. I don't like this. Not cool, not cool, not cool. I guess there's a healing thingamajiggers? Yeah. That makes sense to me. So I want a way to more permanently light up these areas. Thank you very much. But, um... Cave with gem veins, number seven. Interesting. Just because there's a whole lot more dungeon and things than I anticipated. So, I mean, I can kill these shrooms. Do they drop anything? Nope. At least that enemy tells me where he is. And chameleon's carrot. Anyway, uh, let's go deeper in. I saw a, a thing along here. There you are. Great. I uh, made it deep underground. This will let us go back. Keep an eye out for gates as you travel. Yeah. And so this is always the exact same thing. So yeah, that lets us go straight back to where we were. Cool, cool. An ice cross, you say? Okay, elemental resistance. A yellow red slime. For now, bravely run away. Gotcha. So slimes are currently their gatekeeping gate mechanisms. Okay. Small a uh, surface bus. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go fight a bus. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, fuck. Is this water? Okay. Four. Yeah, I really want some sort of light spell. Especially... Oh. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I do need to find some sort of spell. Wait, the stone. Uh, really? I guess they got things over here, right? There we go. Oh. All oh, right, that was um this spell. All right, so now it's nighttime. It's dark. I think I do something at this frickin' dumb stone. Okay. Ice bursts out of you, killing things. Can't be aimed. Okay. This is actually, I think, what we need to use. Okay. In the deeper caves of Constructor Spelljam Workbench to aid people. Right, so this is actually saying, no, go deeper into the caves, you dummy. Uh, so if I press 6 right now, that actually should allow me to kill that slime. Ah. Gotcha. Consciousness shard lightning. Oh, right, that was the item. Wait, what's this say? Um, killed by the giant robot while taking a new thing home. Someone make that robot rest in pieces. You wanna die? Thank you. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm assuming that if I were to try to rebut, if you could head down this way. Thank you for lighting up the area, mate. Crap. Well. Why? Why do you do that? I don't hit that. Oh, right. I'm hitting the wrong button. And the giant robot is pretty straightforward to shoot. I just need to, you know, do that. And, uh, what? Yeah, no, that. It's like if I de press the. If I double tap a movement key. Ah, that's it. Okay, cool. So we took out the first bus. And now I could check up the top. I mean, I guess I might as well. I guess that was the other option, would have been to not fight the first bus and just to, you know, leave. Um, like some sort of sensible, non-confrontational person. There we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Four, four. Jump over. I said, no. When I said jump over, I meant jump over. And then that would have been the other way, right? It would have been leave that way. Key thing is we did. Okay, you made it to settlement. Local Ilari keep monsters at bay, but it's still a harsh life here. The others can't leave, but they'll help you from afar via their professions. Press V to open your planning menu and continent states. Aha, uh -huh, residence. So this tells us the residence. Um, 
list gives us things we should do and tells us what what we're short on so it tries to give us direction and supplies and this is uh, overland enchants okay supercharge overlord and here's a warp gate don't know if I need to go into warp gates or not but I feel that like this is the most sensible thing to do And here's this, drop spell gems here to incinerate into consciousness shards. What happened to the world? What made it fracture into a sheet of ice? Last glyph here tells us our neighbors from another time period. Uh, view E to do continent status. Uh, settlement structures. How does one build settlement structures? It did mention that this is sort of a city building game. Open purchase menu. Opal Guardian statues. So here we've got health slot and chance. Right, so I could use this. Uh, yeah, sure. Right, these are gifts that we could give survivors, um, supplies, etc. Send survivors on dispatch missions. Uh, okay, things we should do. Five more up in champ points. Right, get two plus re level two range spells. Dispatch survivors against Overlord. Okay, spell gem crafting. Missing some resources. Okay. Right, so this would let us build more spells if we were to do certain things. Um, but I, what I want to do is I want to like build the settlement. So this is stuff that we can buy, but how do we build up the settlement itself? If I go over here, that's continent status. No, I don't want to double, that was not intended to be double tap. All right, this is a yeah, way of getting more shards. All right, change difficulty, sure. And then what's this last bit say? Beware this leads out of that time shard and this basically says yep there's stuff here. Upgrading chance in the opal station uh, opal stores stop. Um, okay so if I go to the opal store and I do um, head slot enchantments right so I do not have enough to buy anything there. Health slot I could get more health and get more mana I can get better up uh, attack okay transfer from fire into bat scroll glyph transplant scroll that was one of the things that was recommended to have aha uh -huh, right ah uh, no thanks okay I think at this point you can really see the game opening up and there being a lot more to do. Uh, I don't really want to try and get into that now. I'm kind of confused as to how you build up a settlement. Are you meant to do more missions? Are you meant to fight more monsters? Who knows? But this is definitely an interesting game. Like it, it's mixing things in ways I didn't expect and it took about 40 minutes to get through the tutorial don't know how long the game is I get a sense it's a pretty big one uh, and at some point I should try the sequel and see what that has uh, but this this could be interesting this is interesting enough that I'm wondering how many friends have it and maybe we could organize a, a game of it uh, to try and figure it out together anyway uh, this has been me trying a valley without winds so mostly thus far it's been sort of a weird RPG platformer and now we're getting into the city building elements. Uh, I, I'm interested. This is something that I would like to play more of. Unlike uh, some of the other games where, which I've been playing lately where it's like, it just, it isn't getting me. This is, I just, I'm not sure what to make of it. And uh, I'll see you next time where we'll play something else.